My dear vintage collectors, how are you doing? Today I'm doing a second part of the watch game consoles because the Casio game watches got, gained a lot of traction and today I would like to do a little comparison on Casio game watches, left hand side versus different brands of uh, game watches. So first of all, let me get started on the left hand side. What you guys can see here is a um, collection of the best Casio game watches in pristine condition. So you can see even some of them, they're having the original, the original tag. Every Casio watch is coming from a different part of the world. And you can see here the design on the graphics. They are very, very crisp. They are sharp. You can really play with them. And every watch is having their own charm. Best example is from this view, you can see the Golf Game Watch is even shining. Okay. Now, if we compare them to other brands of game consoles, I would like to show you here the Tetris, Nintendo Game Watch, the Pac-Man, we have a Game, Wo game Boy, it, well, this is only the Game Boy console, and the Super Mario watches. So from the design point of view, they look very similar to the counterpart in Casio, but the graphics are, are having no comparison. You just can see it here. So let's focus on one specifically. So this one here. So this one you can see is basically Mario picking up the items that are falling from the sky. And their counterpart would be the Monaca. So the Monaca, this one. And as you can see, the graphs are having no comparison. I mean, in the Casio watch, they are very crisp. And also we talk about the durability of the buttons, the Casio were top of the game. Whereas those from Nintendo, they were fine, but if you play them constantly, the buttons they are suddenly getting off. Either they stop responding or they pop out. Okay. Then the second example would be this one, the yellow one, Super Mario Bros. So it's like the, the princess there in the middle is playing the role of a car and you see it's going through the um, different obstacles. And their Casio counterpart would be, let's see here, would be the turtle, turtle race. So again, focus on the pixels, on the graphs, on the design, and definitely Casio has no comparison. So you can see both are having the same functionality. Alarm, chronometer, same sounds. Nevertheless, the Casio were having top quality. And as you can see, well, uh, the time is passing and the, the Casio game watches are really demanded even nowadays. Very difficult to find on, on depends on the condition, but um, you can pay up to $500, depending on how rare the watch is. Whereas the other consoles, they are more accessible to the market and also difficult to find them in good condition. So for example, these two, they are very difficult to find in this condition that, I, that you can see them here. Uh, especially if you find them with the, the original strap, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult. But if I can tell you, which one from here, from this display, is the most complex to find? I would say it would be the, the Pac-Man watch, right here. This one is really, really beautiful. I really like it. So this watch is coming from Chile. Okay, so I was lucky to get it uh, in this condition, original strap. But, uh, you know, let's say from the complexity of the game watch, each is having their own uh, um, their own complexity to find. From here, it would be 
the Pac-Man game watch, then followed by this one, okay? And from here, the Casio watches. So I would say the most complicated one would be this one, the Atomic Robot, then followed by the Jungle Star. So again, I hope you like this comparison on watches. If you would like to see some, um, some other specifics on the watch, please leave your comment. I will gladly do it for you guys just to knowledge share with the community. So I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, and see you soon in the next one. Take care.